Good day. Welcome to King Wilma's Everything. We got a little USB joystick uh, board, or a little USB encoder for a joystick. And I think I got this off of either Light in the Box or Wish or something like that. Fairly inexpensive. I think it did come with these buttons. And the buttons I'm using are little shorties. They're in a normal um, arcade size diameter, but they're shorter because the uh, box I'm going to put in is kind of shallow. So I don't. the normal buttons are going to bottom out. So this one does really well. Oh, you can see I have different buttons. That's not the right button. This button here. So it fits in the normal uh, arcade hole. And these are the little switches are recessed. It's kind of cheap, but it'll do the trick. So let's take a look at the board. See, I plugged in the little USB cord. So we're going to plug that into the Raspberry Pi eventually when we're done. But for now, we're going to plug in the PC and see what happens. Got a couple, couple LEDs. Uh, and this is for this cable. So I'm thinking this may be for a... Trackball, maybe? Might be for a trackball. I think that's kind of a trackball. Um, these, I believe, are for the joystick buttons and the joystick. So, I got left, left, right, up, down, left, right, up, down, button, 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 button. That's my thinking. Because when you look on the back, or actually, I think this one says these buttons show mode, I don't know, something, clear, auto, auto, clear, turbo mode. So I'm not sure what those are for. Uh, these buttons, or these sockets here, so AR, AL, AC, AV, not sure what those are for. And then you can see here's the chip on the back that does all the controlling. And I think there's some, oh yeah, so K12, K11, ST, SE, R1, L1, R2, L2, K4, K3, K2, K1. So whatever those mean, I'm guessing it's uh, left, right, up, down, left, right, up, down, and button, 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 button. But it's pretty simple to install. The um, I had some of these that had you. It's kind of like a phone. You punch them down on the the little blocks. But this is pretty simple. It's got these little connectors on the end, and then the two little blade connectors for your for your button. So basically, you just plug it in like so. And you plug one in. They're keyed, so you can't screw it up. Right it to put it to the right button or joystick. And of course, let's see, did I have one open? Yeah, here's one open. Put a little blade connectors on these little fellows, and you're done. And then I'm sure you have to do some programming in RetroPie or uh, whatever you're using to uh, you know, define the buttons and stuff like that, which is pretty easy. You go in the setup and you can say, you know, you define your joystick left, right, up, down, you know, that kind of thing. Pretty easy. But I'm kind of digging this because it's, it's simple. And you can have it all enclosed and without uh, any kind of wacky setups and stuff like that. So this, I think this is really the way to go. But enough chatting. Let's uh, plug it in the computer and we'll take a look and see what it looks like. Okay, so we have it plugged into Mr. Computer and you can kind of see on Windows 10 just shows up as a generic USB joystick. So nothing fancy, but it did detect it just by plugging in without anything connected to it. And let's look at the device driver and see what it says. It's working properly. USB generic device, or USB input for device, nothing special. Uh, the driver, just generic Windows driver, so that's kind of cool. It's nice that it detected that. Uh, USB input device. Let's see, let's poke through here, see if there's anything interesting. Uh, no, nothing too interesting other than it's a USB joystick. So you kind of get the idea. Basically, plug it in, at least on the PC, plug it in, detects it, and away you go. You know, detect it as generic uh, joystick, so that's kind of cool. So whatever, they did a good job on that. And then as long as you plug it in correctly, you know, you got it, got it really good. Oh, the other thing I did see, I know, I know what this goes to. This actually goes to your joystick because I have a joystick here, and there's the little plug. I was wondering, it's like, how did you hook that up? It's simple. Plug that in, plug it in, yeah, and you're good to go. So that makes it easy. So these must be. Uh, all your buttons that you're going to have in. So you can probably have a whole lot of buttons, probably player one, player two, uh, that kind of thing. And of course there's turbo turbos and stuff like that, which I'm not sure what those are for, but you could hook them up. And of course it lights up, so that's kind of cool. Uh, but nice simple little project, or a nice little simple board for a simple project. And you really can't beat the price. This I think was like maybe 10 bucks, probably under 10 bucks, pretty cheap. And you got, uh, you know, the cables, this, this, and I think these buttons all came with it. I think these I bought separate, but most of these buttons came with it. So it was kind of a pretty cool deal. Let's shop around. You can probably maybe find cheaper or more. It just depends on what you're looking for and where you get it from. But anyway, 
thought that's something you might enjoy, the USB joystick. Very nice. Perfect uh, addition to your projects for your RetroPie or whatever other things you want to do. If you want to make a custom joystick, I guess, for your PC, you could do that too because it has a nice little plug. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.